Hello Pisces, how's it going? It is time for your reading. My name is Kelly, I'll be doing the read here. And let's get right into it. And also, hey Pisces, tomorrow I'm gonna, I plan to uh, do a, a reading outside. So I'm gonna take you somewhere really nice and share the, uh, the beauty with you. Uh, hopefully, it, it depends, I'm not gonna 100% say that uh, um, I'm going to, but I want to. It just depends upon the weather, you know, weather pending. And I, you can never really tell around here, you know, you can watch the weather reports. Or it, it doesn't matter. It could, <laughs> the weather here is very, very different. Okay. So it's, and it's very hard to predict. So, but if it's, uh, if it's not windy, you know, and it's sunny, I'm for sure, for sure, we're going to go for it. But anyway, let's get right here into the read. And I hope you guys are enjoying your day. And what's going on here with Pisces? Thoracicus. Well, now Pisces, I like Thoracicus this way. This is in reverse, by the way. This is the one rune that you want to have in reverse. <laughs> and as you can see, Pisces, you know, this is a thorn. That little pointy thing there at the end, that's a thorn. And it's pointing away from you. So this is a very, very difficult situation that you've been going through that is um, re coming to a resolution. So in other words, uh, whatever this difficult situation here is, um, the coast is clear and, and there's no more danger. So long as you use your intuition, I mean, the coast is clear. And not only that, Pisces, uh, this is also a rune talking about protection. Because you've got that thorn around you right here. Yeah. Oh, Pisces. He was. He was. Okay, so Pisces, he was is, uh, um, it's a good rune. It's it's talking about companionship. It's also talking about travel. So maybe some of you, you know, can travel or are going to travel. And if you need to travel, it's a good time to travel. Um, yeah. But it could also be like some sort of a, you know, a companion or some sort of, you know, somebody that you're with that you trust. It could be a friend. Yeah. What else is going on with Pisces? Barkana. Barkana. Wow. Hmm. So then now Barkana is awesome, Pisces. It's even if it's in reverse, because you know, Barkana doesn't stay in reverse very long. It's it's very temporary. It's a temporary deal. Um, and it means new beginnings. So there's some sort of a delay. Um, I don't know what the delay is, but there is some sort of a delay. Um, but whatever the delay is, it's not gonna be very, very much longer of a delay. Like I said, Barkana is, um, Barkana is temporary. Hmm. Kanaz. Uh, and this is in reverse. Kanaz is in reverse. So this is you, Pisces, feeling um, in the dark, okay? 
and we already know that. But this is some sort of, uh, I have to pull another rune out to be able to really fully describe this rune. But this is talking about, uh, you know, feeling left in the dark or left out. You know, it could be both. You could be, you know, asking questions in your mind as to, you know, what or why. Um, And you could also be feeling like, you know, you were just kind of like left out. But the good news here is, and I like this, is because it's sitting next to Barkana, and this is going to turn around real quick. So even though I haven't pulled another rune out, I'm kind of leaning towards that this is going to resolve itself. Because I see this very tricky situation over here becoming safe. Ooh, Jera. Okay, I like this. Jera. Okay, so now Jera is... Um, Jerry is is light. This is a form of light, right? And what does this is like a torch? Okay, this is like a torch. Now, what do torches do? Torches light up the dark. Now you've been feeling left in the dark. That's going to go away because you have a torch right here that's lighting it up. This is, this is a breakthrough. This is a breakthrough to that very difficult situation over here that you've been going through. This is a sudden, and this usually happens suddenly. And it's, it's also uh, very significant because it's in the middle of the reading. So this is a major sort of a, a breakthrough. This Barkana is right about ready to just flip around and... This is a really good reading, by the way, Pisces. Yeah. This Barkana is going to flip around and you're going to have some sort of a new beginning. Mm -hmm. And that feeling left in the cold or left out or left in the dark. Um, you're going to see You're going to see something here. This is kind of reminding me of the Ace of Swords, you know, in a way, you know, being able to see clear, clear foresight, clear, clear insight, whatever they, whatever, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hmm. Hadjalez. So somebody is going through and, you know, Pisces, you guys probably, you know, see other uh, channels, you know, that do tarot. And Hadjalez here is most similar to the Tower card because Hadjalez talks about hail. And hail is, you know... Hail damages things, it damages crops, it destroys things. And the tower, you know, the tower kind of collapses and crumbles and falls. Um, so they're kind of similar. Um, and whoever it is that you're dealing with is going through some sort of a tower moment. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know whether or not this is you're gonna even see this or not or, or not yet, Pisces, because I can't tell. I had it's kind of weird. I can't really explain it to you very easily on how I read the runes, but I kind of flip flop and I read from here to there, and I read from here to there. It's weird. Come on, with Pisces.
Wow, they got Nothies. Nothies. Hmm. So you know, Nothies is a is a rune that talks about either learning or or lacking. So this person could be lacking something. All right. Maybe they lack you. Maybe they miss you. Maybe you know this person. Or maybe this person has learned something. It's too early to tell yet. Got to get another rune out. So Pisces, Ewas here is in reverse. This is somebody else's energy. This person here, it, this means a couple of things. Now, I don't know, take whatever resonates here, Pisces, but this person um, may be having trouble getting to you. Maybe they lack the means to be able to get to you because something is going on really crazy right now in their life. All right? Now that's for some of you. Now for others, this person here doesn't trust something. You know, there might be something about you that this person doesn't trust. Um, and, but whatever the case is, this person here is definitely going through some sort of um, uh, tower moment. They're not doing too well. They got Nathis and they got Hagelaz. That's not really, um, that's not a fun combo for them. But you know, Pisces, I don't really see, um, I mean, you might not even, this person might not even, you might not even know about this person, in other words, because I don't see any movement towards you. Now, if you do know this person, then you know then you know that they can't probably get to you if they're trying to travel to you. Um, but I, I kind of I kind of don't feel like that. I feel like th this person might not trust something about uh, they might not trust something about themselves. Who knows? But they don't trust something. Yeah. You know, now that I'm looking at this here, oops, I'm sorry, guys, I'm bumping the camera and everything. <laughs> I really get into it. You know, Hagelaz here is, this is their energy, but it's touching um, Jera. And this is, this is the light that they bring in. They bring in some sort of shocking light. Something shocking. They're they're bringing it. Yeah, I I feel that they're bringing in something shocking. This is kind of reminding me of yesterday's read in a way. Sort of the energy is sort of the same. It's just a little bit different. Whatever the case is, Pisces, you're safe and protected. Okay, and so, um, yeah. Hmm. What's going on with Pisces? Wow, Fehu. Well, see, I like this now because Fehu is our energy. <laughs> This is talking about money, Pisces, money and health. So, um, you know, we've got our, the money that we've got right now is safe. All right. This is this is protection. Your money's protected. Your health is protected so long as you're taking care of yourself. Um, and your money's protected so long as you use your common sense. Um, but, 
you could have been really struggling here, Pisces. I mean, some of you, I feel that you've really struggled a lot with with money. You know, had a hard time with your money. The good news here here is that that is that is changing, and your money is going is your money is going to start picking up. It's going to start rolling in. All right. Also, Jera right here is very quick. You know, energy. I feel it's fast. So this is kind of like. Um, you know, we're we're pulling out of that Isa, that slow energy, and we're move. We're pick. Things are picking up. Yeah, things are picking up. Let's pull some tarot cards out and see what else. What's going on with Pisces? Hmm. You got the Ten of Wands. Huh. Well, you know, Pisces, the Ten of Wands is, um, you know, this is, these particular uh, cards have a little bit of a twist to them, okay? It's not like your average Ten of Wands. You know, Ten of Wands is, is carrying a lot on your back, and you can't really do it very long. I mean, and this applies also... Um, with this card as well you can't you can't do it forever it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna go down to the ace of wands everybody likes the ace of wands right because you just can't do this anymore pisces but the twist of this ten of wands is that you're deliberately carrying this extra weight you're deliberately doing it this particular difficult situation here that's concerning your money is something that you've put yourself into uh, deliberately. Deliberately sitting there doing this because probably it has something to do with family. All right? So, you know, you could be, um, you know, extending yourself extra for family, for someone that you love. Yeah, it could be like, you know, a, a child. It could be an older child. Yeah. Hmm. So what else is going on here with Pisces? Whoops. <clears throat> hmm, you got the King of Swords. Interesting. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Or somebody that has Leo in their chart as well. Mm -hmm. Now, the King of Swords is, um, is somebody that's really direct. Yeah. This is somebody that just is very direct. You know, um, and it could be shocking. Yeah, the King of Swords could be um, somebody that you're dealing with. It, it could be, um, I don't know, I don't want to, I want, it could be, you know, the King of Swords represents not only, um, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, but it also represents like um, a professional or something, you know, like a lawyer or a police officer or something, you know, a professional that is just black and white and goes by the facts. Hmm. They can be really, uh, they can just say things, you know, just out of the blue and not really think much of it. And, um, yeah. That type of person. What's going on with Pisces? Why is a king? Why is a king of swords there? Uh, so you got the two of hmm, the two of pentacles. You 
Yeah, this is kind of interesting here. Um, Pisces. I'm looking at this King of Pentacles. I mean, I'm looking at this uh, Two of Cups. Um, and I, the, the main thing I'm looking at here is balance. See what he's doing? He's trying to balance something. Maybe this person wants to balance balance things out. This person wants some sort of a long-term commitment, Pisces, whoever this person is. Yeah. See the infinity sign up here? This is uh, infinity. This person wants a long-term commitment. Hmm. So maybe this person wants to bring some balance. This is balance. You know, this is... Jera is, is, is balance. It's not only a breakthrough, but it's also balance. Hmm. Why else is the king of... <clears throat> why else is the king of... Uh, sorry, Pisces. I'm dumping my cards out and they're coming out all messed up. <laughs> Flipping upside down and stuff. All right, let's get back to it. Now, why is the king of, why is the king of swords there? Well, you got the six of uh, pentacles. So this person wants equal give and take. This person wants to balance something out. Yeah. And this is really good news for you, Pisces. It really is. Um, I feel that it's really good news for you. I mean, everybody wants equal give and take. Um, and somebody is coming towards you. However, you know, it may, this, you know, the King of Swords is, uh, is a very blunt. You know, it can be really blunt. <laughs> for sure. Huh. And what's really, um... Interesting here, Pisces, because I'm I'm looking at the bottom of the deck and and I see the Seven of Swords. You know, the Seven of Swords is just look at look at the Seven of Swords here. You see these two swords sticking up over here? They're you know they're up in a cloud. There's something you didn't know. See, you felt like you were in the dark. Yeah. But light is coming. You're going to find out. You're going to find out. All right, Pisces. I kind of like this reading. I do. Let's get you um, some warm runes here. What's going on with Pisces? And then I'm going to go into the birthday runes. What's going on with Pisces? You, Yuling, Ulan, that's how you say it, Ulan, Ulan, Ulan. <laughs> Let's get one more. I like these. Neon. And I'm probably saying that right, wrong, but we'll find out when I open up the book. There it is. All right. So let's go to Ulan first. That's the first one we pulled. You, yeah, Ulan. Uland, Uland with a D. I guess you can pronounce this Uli as well. Ulian, Ulian, Ulian or Uland. Interesting. Well, anyhow, this is the the honeysuckle tree, Pisces. This is the honeysuckle or the beech tree. And the meaning of this is endurance, change, pursuing the dreams, private thoughts, and revealing secrets. 
Ulan symbolize the constant change in our life and our courage to express ourselves during these changes. Honeysuckle and the beech tree are both known for their strength and sturdiness. Honeysuckle is a tree that can overcome obstacles and reach heights with its climbing stems and this represents the effort we make to achieve our dreams. Beech symbolizes determination and endurance with its sturdy structure and long lifespan. Ulan expresses our determination to pursue our dreams and achieve our goals even in difficult times. Wow, so I like Ulan. Yeah, and there it is, Ulan. <laughs> Pretty cool cards. All right, so the next one we have is this one right here, Neon. And I'm probably saying it wrong, but we're gonna look it up and, and uh, where the heck is it here? Is that it? Uh, let me see how it is. This must be it. Okay, so the name of this is called N Nguyen. Ah, Nguyen. <laughs> this is Nguyen. All right, Nguyen. All right. So that is a piece of the ash tree, Pisces. And the meaning of Nguyen is transitions, renewal, feminine energy, growth, peace, supportive friendships, and destiny. Struggles and challenges are part of natural life, and it is essential to accept that these are obligatory to improve, to the improvement and growth. Nguyen symbolizes a get together of friends, family, and communities for a specific purpose. Ash tree represents destiny but this doesn't mean that you're bound to a certain route. Rather, it shows that you are on a unique path that is especially for you. Boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become aware of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you desire the most with enthusiasm and confidence. Wow. So that's pretty good there, Pisces. I like that. So I'll get a moon card here. It's a time for healing. I like that, Pisces. It's a time for healing. All right. And at the bottom of the deck, it says a win-win uh, outcome is forecast. All right, all right, Pisces. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I'm gonna go right into the birthday runes right now. Um, and the first thing I wanna do here is I wanna pull these uh, cards back up and put them back into the deck because I only have one set. So just in case one of them wants to come out, you know, it'll be in here. <laughs> all right, so now Pisces, if you were born February 19th to February 27th, Soilo is your rune. All right, this is your rune, Pisces. So let's see what's going on with Pisces born February 19th to February 27th. And if you're born on the 27th or the 28th, you're on the cusp. So Tiwaz, the next rune will be... Um, your rune as well. So what's going on here with Pisces? We're on February 19th to February 27th. Alan. Or Alan. Alan. <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going to just open up the book. Here, I'll show you the rune though. Because it's an awesome picture. And this has got to be a pine tree. I can see the pine cones on top of his head. Yeah. Let's see what it says here. 
here it is. Yep, this is a pine tree. And Adam, I, I said it right, I think. <laughs> it could either be the silver fir or pine tree. And its meaning here is joy, excitement, euphoria, creation, pregnancy, and spiritual awakening. You might be at the threshold for something new and exciting, but be patient. See, be patient. So you got Barkana right there. Fir tree is known for its height and gives you a beautiful perspective that can change your opinion easily. Alhem will make you rise above your current position and see things more clearly from above. Wow, I like that. That's pretty cool. That's a good one. <laughs> All right. And it also said pregnancy. And, you know, Barkana here is talking about, um, this could talk about pregnancy as well. And this could talk about, actually, it doesn't talk about pregnancy. It talks about giving birth. Yeah. Interesting. All right. So let's get into the next uh well, no, I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull one of these cards out too. I, last last time I didn't pull enough on that on these, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go for it and pull, um, an angel card for you guys too before I go into TYs. What's going on with Pisces? Born February nineteenth to February twenty seventh. Mother, Father, God. Dang, that's a good card, man. I have to read this one, though. I can't get so simple with this one like I did the last one yesterday. <laughs> but this is a very, 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 very good card. So let's see what it says. Uh, Here we go. Mother, Father, God. Okay, your message. You are connected to the power of creation at this time. Your spiritual parent is enveloping you in their incredible love and filling you with divine energy and inspiration to help you move forward. This card is a message directly from the heart of God. It is telling you that you are significant and precious. You are loved beyond measure and the cre creator and the creator power is good is proud of you. There we go. You are being encouraged to have faith and know that everything is possible for you. No matter what you may be going through, you are always connected to the source of creation. Your angel guide is encouraging you to remember this now. Wow, see? I'm glad I pulled that out. That's a good one, you guys. I like it. Here, let's get into the um, into the next birthday, okay, Pisces? All right. So we have TYs here. Now, if you're born from February 28th to March 14th, this is your rune, TYs. And see, now, Pisces, I was born on the 28th, so, you know, this is my reading as well. So, but yeah. So let's see what's going on with Pisces born February 28th to, to March 14th. Ah, see, I knew another card was going to come out. This is the same one we got before. Newin, Newin, yeah, Newin. So let's let's read what Newin says again. Hmm. All right. Okay. Once again, and here's the card. And Newin is the ash tree. All right. And the trans, the meaning of this is transitions, renewal, feminine energy, growth, P 
peace, supportive friendship and destiny. Struggles and challenges are a natural part of life and it is essential to accept that these are obligatory for improvement and growth. New one symbolizes a get together of friends, families and communities for a specific purpose. Ash tree represents destiny but doesn't mean you are bound by a certain route. Rather, it shows you a unique path that is especially for you. Boundaries are not a disadvantage as they may help you become aware of connecting points and find creative solutions. Create the life that you desire the most with enthusiasm, with enthusiasm and confidence. Wow, I like that. That's a good one. See, that's why I put the picked up the cards and put them back into the deck because you know I'm used to usually working with two decks or two or two sets at a time. But what's going on with Pisces? Born February twenty eighth to March fourteenth. Signs and re and remedies. Signs and re signs and reminders. God, where did I learn how to read? My glasses are all smudged up. <laughs> all right, here. Let's get this book here. Signs and reminders, huh? Hmm. Here we go. Signs and reminders. Your message. Angels and loved ones in heaven are sending you signs of their presence now. You may be seeing the same number patterns in sequence, in sequences, finding feathers, seeing the same birds at special times, or even feeling that you're being visited by a loved one or an angel in dreams or at some point in your day. These are all messages of support. You are, you are on the right path and are being guided to know that you do not walk alone on this path. In times of need, angels are beside you, blessing your heart with love and healing. And your angels and loved ones in heaven will never leave you. Their love will never die. Wow. That's kind of a deep one there, isn't it, Pisces? Wow. Well, I like that. All right. So I guess that's the end of that one. We're going to go into the next one. Because, <laughs> Pisces, we got three of them. Now, if you're born um, from March 15th, to March 20th, this is your rune right here, Barkana. All right. So what's going on with Pisces born from March 15th? And remember, if you're born on the 14th or the 15th, then these two, Tiwaz and Barkana, are both your runes as well. All right. Anyway, what's going on with Pisces born... March 15th to March 20th. Shalya. I think I said that right. Shalya. This is the card. Shalya. <laughs> that's a trip, huh? It doesn't look like it says that, but that's what it says. <laughs> See, where the heck is it? Mm, that's not it. Child, yeah. Well, now, where the heck is it? Sorry, you guys. I don't mean to be taking so long. I just am not completely familiar with this book yet, so... 
Well, where the heck is it? There it is. There it is. <laughs> I was like, darn. All right, anyway, so this is the name of the, this is Shell, yeah, I said it right. And this is the, the willow tree, all right? And the meaning of this is balance, intuition, being closely connected with the phases of the moon, astrology, perfect timing, romantic feelings, flow of water and tides. Willow trees are usually located near water, and since the movement of water is related with the moon cycles, these trees are closely connected with the moon. Willow tree is also related with divination and intuition. Keeping an open and healthy connection with your self is an empowering trait and highly valuable. Wow. So that's kind of awesome there, Pisces. That's saying that you're using... You, this card is basically saying you are using your intuition. And it's, you, and it's working out really good for you. I like that. What else is going on with Pisces? Born from February 15th. To I mean, March 15th to March 20th. March 15th to March 20th. Blessings in abundance. Blessings in abundance. Huh. Let's see what that's talking about. Here we go. All right, Pisces. So the message here for blessing and abundance is a light of blessings and abundance is being wrapped around you and your angels want you to know that they are supporting you. They are encouraging you to trust your intuition and other guidance you are receiving at this time as it will lead you toward tremendous growth and fulfillment. Many blessings are being shown upon your present situation. If you have not experienced them, know that they will be revealed and shared in perfect time and space sequence. All doors to abundance are now being opened to you. Angel wisdom is encouraging you to begin counting your blessings then you will be open to receiving even more of them. Wow. I like that. That sounds really good, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Well, there you have it, Pisces. I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. And I'll see you guys again. I hope you guys, by the way, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow. All right, Pisces. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.